Hello? I'm back. Are you alright? Hey, hey, what's wrong? You look as white as a sheet, and you're wincing as I talk. Are you feeling okay? You're sick? Oh god, I'm sorry. I'll quiet down a little. Is it just like a cold, or...? Uh, yeah. I have been hearing rumblings of a bug still going around, even though it's the tail end of winter. It's such a shame you got it now, though. Right when it's about to warm up and we can enjoy the sunshine again. How long have you been lying on the sofa like this? Three hours? You haven't gotten up in all that time? Well, it's not like I don't understand, but you could probably do with something to drink. I see you've got a little water left in that glass. You finish that off, and I'll go get you something special. I got some honey and lemon tea a couple of days ago, which should do you some good. Hey, it's okay. You just take it easy. I don't mind doing this for you. You'll need all the rest you can get. Stay right there. I won't be long. There. We'll just let that steep for a few minutes. Are you cold? We can get some blankets around you if you need them. Yeah? Okay. Let me just reach over here. Right. Are you able to get up? I'd like to wrap this around you if I can. Like a little burrito. <laughs> okay. Wrapped up nice and cozy. You okay on that? <laughs> Say, I can get you something to eat as well if you want. What would you like? Okay. I phrased that as an option, but I'm actually not taking no for an answer. You could do to eat something to get your strength back. It doesn't have to be a full meal or anything, but you should at least have a little snack or something. Maybe some biscuits? Or how about a little bag of crisps? Yeah. A nice little bag of crisps. I'll just be a sec. There. Go ahead and eat some of those. There's no rush. You can have them at your own pace. Oh, <laughs> it's no trouble. I'm here to help whenever you need. What kind of roommate would I be if I left you to sort yourself out in that condition? Oh, you don't have to pay me back or anything. I'm just doing what I think is best for you. Well, you could do one little thing. Let me have a few of those. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> I could get whatever I wanted while you're weak like this. Say, how about I look for those snacks you've been hiding from me, and sneak a couple while I have the chance? 
I'm only teasing. Wait, is that your fever? Or do you really have some snacks hidden away you don't want me getting at? I was only joking, but now you have me curious. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. I've had my fun. We need to be helping you relax right now. Speaking of, the tea should be ready about now. Give me a minute. That should be fine now. Drink up. It'll help you feel better. There you go. Everything's going to be okay now. Oh, honestly, I could do to relax too. Work was one thing, but getting back and seeing you lying practically out cold like that kind of scared me. I thought something really bad had happened, like... No, I won't dwell on it. I just want to help you get back to your usual cheery self, okay? Whether that's making you comfortable getting you food or what have you, I'll get whatever you need. It's a shame you couldn't manage a proper meal though. I could have tried making some homemade soup. Uh, excuse me, my cooking isn't that bad. I've only had one, two, a few incidents burning things. Besides, it's not like you're much better. Remember when you were boiling that potato, and you forgot about it, so all the water boiled away and you burned the pan? Yeah, so, I don't want to hear it. Besides, I've been practicing cooking from scratch here and there, and I don't think I'm too bad at it now. We should give it a proper try sometime. I actually bought some stuff for a stir-fry when you're up for it. Come on, give me a chance. We can do with a change from the same oven-cooked meals and takeout we have all the time. Sweet. Thanks. I'll cook something up as soon as you feel well enough. All right. Huh? Well, yeah. I guess I could catch whatever you've got, being so close to you like this. But, yeah, we'll deal with it when it happens. If it happens. You could do with a little comfort right now. And I think that's more important right now than worrying about myself. As long as you don't mind me being so close, of course. It's not making you uncomfortable, is it? Oh, good. I'll just keep rubbing your back and making you feel nice and relaxed. And if I do end up catching a cold, I'll be relying on you to help me back. Okay? <laughs> so, do you want the TV on? We could watch a movie or show or... Something to help keep your mind off of things. Isn't that live-action version of that one show you really like out by now? Yeah, that one. I know you've been looking forward to it. I remember you couldn't stop talking about it when it was announced. <laughs> or maybe we can watch something simple you don't have to pay much attention to, so you can fall asleep if you want. Oh, you think that would be too rough on your head? Okay then, we can leave the TV off then. Oh, no. Sorry, it's not a problem. I don't mind, honestly. 
I know the circumstances have kind of forced our hand here, but I think it's good to have a quiet moment together to just chill, you know? We always end up so busy going about our normal lives, and then when we get back, we just want to have some space. And then when we do spend time together, it's to actively do something together, like watch a new TV show or go out somewhere. I think it makes a nice change to just be together in a room and talk, have a drink, whatever. To sit down, relax, not do anything in particular. Society drives us to be so busy. It can be hard to enjoy the quiet moments without feeling guilty that we aren't doing something else. It's only when we're forced to stop and smell the flowers, so to speak, that we can appreciate the little things. A nice warm drink, the soft allure of a sofa, the occasional cute dog walking by the window, and the company of a friend. I appreciate you not asking me to leave you alone, Elia. I know you were trying to keep me safe. Honestly, in your position, I'd be the same way. But, at the same time, you knew it was best to let me help you at a time like this. I'm really glad you can rely on me like that. So, thank you. Hello? Hey. You're looking a little drowsy. Looks like you might need to get some proper sleep. Don't deny it. I can practically see the dream bubbles floating over your head. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Can you stand up? There you go. I can support you if you need. Take it slow. Just as well you can walk. I don't know if I could carry you there by myself. <laughs> Whoa, hey, easy. Are you a little dizzy as well? Come on, put your arm around me. We're nearly there. And we're here. Now, just lie down and get the covers over you. I'll take the blankets off of you. Okay, looks like you're all set. How's that? Nice and warm? You ought to be more comfortable than that sofa, that's for sure. <laughs> How did you even get there anyway? Oh, let me guess. You tried to get something like water or food, then didn't have the energy to get back to your room? <laughs> uh, that's just like you, trying to power through on your own. What would you do without me, huh? Well, we'll make sure you feel a lot better tomorrow. And part of that is not pushing yourself too hard. I need you to take care of yourself, all right? Just do what you can, and I can handle the rest. <laughs> no, I'm not your mother. But I can still care for your well-being, alright? Now, enough snarky comments, as much as they show you're getting better. Lay your head back, close your eyes. 
and get some rest. <laughs> I can see you drifting off already. Just relax. Don't think about the time you're losing from all this. Don't worry about anything like that. The only thing you need to do right now is give your body the rest and energy it needs to make sure you get better. Let's give your body all the love it needs. So, do you need anything else? I can get you some water, some food, some clean sheets or clothes, or maybe you'd like me to keep rubbing your back? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop being a worry what. Well, at least let me get you some water. It's important to stay hydrated, especially when you're sick. Okay, I'll get some then. You might even fall asleep before I get back. <laughs> just in case you do. I just want to say that you might not have the smoothest of sleeps, but don't push yourself. I know you're probably tired of hearing me say it, but really, I'm here to help. You'll make it through this. Feel free to text me if you need anything. I'll do what I can. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Good night. Rest well.